Oh my goodness, James. You should have been in there. It was crazy. Wow. Just wow. I mean... The most intense, stressful movie you will ever see in your entire life. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity! What's up guys, James Shu back here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the fabulous AMC. ChasingCinema.com. James Shu, how are you? What's up sir? So we just did the intro for Runner Runner. Yes. But now, let's talk about a movie that James Cameron said is the best space film ever made in the history of cinema, Gravity. A movie that is being called the next 2001 Space Odyssey. A movie that has the potential to change the way we watch movies, the way the movies are, I am so excited. However, with that much hype, that's a large part to be maybe disappointed with, but I love George Clooney. When does he not give a good performance on screen? He's when does excellent. he not make a great effort to a film? Sandra Bullock is also incredible, and I also really enjoy her. Um, the movie has a lot of effects. It's highly on effects. Pretty much everything is We're CGI. We're told 99% of the whole movie is CG, is except CGI. for the freaking face on the screen. But every single time I see the trailer, my, ma my, my, my windpipe starts getting smaller. I can barely start breathing, and I'm in totally locked in. So I'm hoping for the hour and a half that I'm in this movie that that is that intense. And hopefully it is the movie that changes the way we see film today. I'm jacked for this movie because the trailer made me scared. Yeah, it that does. would be scary. It's a very terrifying thought, and just the thought of the whole oblivion of space is just terrifying. And this movie hopefully explores that and makes us that scared. Let me ask you this: If you somehow got flown into, you're in space, and then you huh. got start, and then the only way to like save yourself is to literally take your mask off so you suffocate, or would you want to uh, not suffocate and just uh, be hunger and starve, and then? Well, I'm gonna eventually suffocate. I'm gonna run out of air. Oh yeah. If I was no, let's just say you had space. oxygen on you though. So you're just blown away. Okay, so I have a full tank. That's I'm good right. For a few hours. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna eventually die either way. But honestly, I'd be so afraid to run into like a planet where there'd be aliens or something. I'd just, just go real quick like that. X Files. I watched a lot of that when I was a kid. David the Company. Jillian Anderson is not in this movie. We'll be back in an hour and a half. <laughs> sure. And we'll see, also see how the movie is. Bar none. I almost broke my boyfriend's hand. I mean, I love Sandra Bullock. She is an amazing actress, but this movie, bar none, best yet that I've seen of her. It's probably one of the better movies that I've seen in my lifetime. Just, it's, it's breathtaking. I, it's completely amazing. It's incredible. Like ever? Like yeah, of all time. It's like top, 10. Like, I mean, it might even be top five. It's just, it's so visually stunning. It was everything in a movie. It was, it made you laugh, it made you cry, it made you kind of like, you didn't know where you were for a minute because you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It was, it was a great movie. I recommend everyone to go out and watch it because it's, it's just one of those movies that you have to watch. All right, so we just got out of Gravity. Yes. I watched Runner Runner. Biggest mistake of your life. Chase and Cinema just watched Gravity. <laughs> Did they let you down? Did they let me down? Absolutely not. Gravity is probably the best film of the year and probably one of an instant classic and one of my all-time favorite films. That movie blew away from start to finish. It brings you through every emotion from total despair and total moments of just loneliness to triumph and defeat. It is such a beautiful movie. Um, as a lot of people were saying already, it was one of the most beautifully shot films ever. The visual effects are completely stunning and a movie has never explored outer space like that before. This is a movie that's going to change the way we see films, I tell you. It is incredible. Sandra Bullock's performance is Oh, breathtaking. My heart is pounding out of my chest. My anxiety was kicked in. I have anxiety problems. That movie almost took the air out of my breath. I was absolutely blown away by how Jason amazing Sim I was almost movie. passed away in the premiere <laughs> screening did. of I Gravity. I almost did because it was that good. This is a movie too, and uh, we talk about this a lot. Is a movie you need to see in theaters. If you're not here, which I'm assuming you're not, you need to come see this movie in theaters. Which is a big Gravity mistake. cannot be seen on a small screen. This is a movie you need to sit in the theaters in 3D and watch and be a part of. It goes from third person to first person, it puts you in a spacesuit, it cuts off your air, and it, it's the wildest ride you'll ever go on. Oh, who's writing the review for this one? Louis Vuitton's gonna be writing the review, but I think we both agree that's gonna be a four out of four stars. That's gonna be the first Day, of this year. A perfect movie? Yeah, perfect. Crazy. Uh, this year. So easy. Well, after hearing all the reviews from all of our friends and Chase and Cinema. I gotta watch it. I'm excited about it. Oh man. Alright, so for the full honor review though, so you can read all the details from Mr. Louis Vuitton himself, please go to www.chaseandcinema.com slash gravity. By the way, next week's movie? We have Machete. Yes, Kills. Yes. We got the, 
<laughs> it looks absolutely ridiculous. Which is awesome. But we have uh, not Emilio Estevez, not Charlie Sheen. What's the name? He's, Charlie Sheen. No, he's Charlie going by Sheen. like another name though in the movie. Who? Um, Where are you going? Like, leading us straight here. No, he says uh, in introducing something Estevez. He's not going by Charlie Sheen. Anyway, it's Charlie Emilio Sheen, no, but he's not going by. I don't remember. Well, but Machete Kills Part Two looks absolutely gravity. ridiculous. Machete gravity is hot. Week. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Why? Because we deserve a thumbs up for heaven's sake. Gravity deserves a thumbs up. And I want to know what you guys think. It seemed like everyone loved the movie, but I want to know what you think. Comments below. Mm, I dare someone to tell me Gravity wasn't good. Add this to favorites. <laughs> thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see more adventures of ChasingCinema.com yep. and myself. By the way, just so you know. And until the next episode. See you next week. Talk to everyone soon. People can tell you all they want, but until you see it, you're not going to know. It was a great experience. Awesome movie. And I, I mean, I gave up watching Justin Timberlake and Ben Affleck, but it was well worth it. Very well worth it. It will leave you speechless. It will leave you breathless. You are just blown away by the entire experience. It impacts you just the whole time you're like, go do something. And then I'm not going to spoil the end, but just... Just wow.